Here they come, NASA astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley. They've each made this journey twice before for the space shuttle missions, but they've never done this in a SpaceX spacesuit. They've never done this together, and they've never done this on their way to head to a commercially built rocket and spacecraft to head to space. When I was looking for that Astro van and I see these white Teslas with meatballs and worms on them, it's just a, a new era in space travel. Oh yeah, they're riding in Tesla Model Xs. They have been equipped with cooling units, so once they sit inside, that umbilical that I was referring to earlier uh, will connect to the spacesuit to provide cooling while they're inside of the vehicle. And you can see them talking and waving with their families now. We just saw them do a virtual hug uh, with their sons. Here's Megan and Karen and their sons, yeah. They're the dads. <laughs> the dads, yeah. It's, it's so awesome. Bob Lowe and his family a kiss. Doug actually got to take his wife and son up to the, up, uh, to the pad on the tower uh, yesterday they tweeted out a photo that was so cool. I saw that picture and it had a prominent worm in the picture, right? <laughs> yes. I'm telling you, worm all day. <laughs> uh, so they're climbing through those DeLorean doors of the Model X. It, this is totally from the future. It's Are they stock? Are they stock Teslas? <laughs> <laughs> and then you see in the front seat there, that's our flight surgeon. Uh, he's climbing in, and the suit technicians, um, there's one, Chris Trigg, right there, number 12. He is buckling in. Uh, they, they're both, the two suit techs are buckling in, Bob and Doug, and they're connecting that umbilical. And Lauren, I know you mentioned this earlier, but for folks that maybe weren't watching then or, or can't remember, I mean, it's, it's, we're in Florida, it's super hot, super muggy, so how are they staying cool? There are these portable cooling units. We had one at the ONC building, or sorry, two at the ONC building. There are two in the Teslas. There will be two in the elevators, and then two in the white room when they arrive on the crew arm. So we're just keeping that cool air flowing through the suits. There's actually ducting integrated into the suits to keep them cool. And you can see they're saying goodbye to their families. This is awesome. Yeah, it's awesome eh, that their, their families get to come up to the window and obviously get a little closer than oh, everybody wow. else. There's Megan, her uh, son. Yeah. Oh my gosh. These are precious moments. This is where just what was what it's all about. As I mentioned before, it's about the people. It's about the families and working together as one community to get Doug and Bob launching off to the cosmos to the space station. Yeah, it's it's emotional. <laughs> it's emotional watching that. It really is. Here we go. Now, as we see the convoy, convoy begin the journey to the pad, 39A, we are thinking about each and every one of you, our colleagues and friends at SpaceX and NASA, who have had a, san a hand in seeing the Crew Dragon commercial crew program come to life. And we wish every single one of you could be here up close to see this, but we want you to be a part of this journey regardless of where you are watching today. And so for the next few minutes, uh, while they're making their way to the pad, we want to highlight those people whose hands and words and thoughts built all that we see here today. And we hope all of you watching can feel that pride that each of these NASA and SpaceX team members has for today. This is Laura Segarra from the Commercial Crew Program. We're so excited about this historical day. Congratulations on being a part of the very first 